the Bees has had a tradition over the past several years of organizing a luncheon at Fairchild Gardens. What we like about it and what we call it is sort of the event that kicks off Miami Basel. Different monumental sculptures from a variety of artists, young and old over the years, have graced the gardens. The sculptures in this little group were all seen recently in front of the Seagram's building in New York, and now they have a new home, which I think is in a way much more suited to um, their spirit. I have been to every Miami Basel and I have seen it grow and take on a life of its own. The complexity of everything just draws the world because you can never have this much of a concentration of such great art and so many fun events in one place. We always like to welcome Art Basel and that's why you know we try to do like an opening. There's so many things to see that I could be talking for two hours about the great installations we have this year. We have two great works downstairs. One is by Wade Guyton and it's a painting that's huge. I mean it has six panels. Each panel is five meters high. The second floor is basically around the sculpture garden and the third floor I would say it's sort of like a place maybe to meditate. It's the 11th year of Art Basel in Miami Beach, and we are presenting an exhibition done by Oscar Morello, who worked at the collection in this one gallery for six weeks and created 50 different works of art, and we are presenting six of those works. All year, there is an extraordinary anticipation for the Art Basel Week to come to Miami, because the entire town awaits it, prepares for it, and tries to really welcome the whole world that actually comes here.